Hello, thank you for uh, dropping in on this video. Uh, my name is John. I'm the founder of Tabit Class Math, and I want to talk to you about our homeschool geometry uh, curriculum. And the way I'm going to do that is we're going to take a look at this one particular problem here. But um, with this being said, I'm assuming you may be a homeschooler if you're watching this video, so thank you very much for um, a little bit of your time again. Um, if you don't know about Tablet Class, we've been out in the marketplace um, at the time of this video for over 10 years providing um, homeschool curriculum and other math uh, programs to schools, uh, people taking various tests. So we do a lot in math and uh, primary focus is on middle and high school mathematics. So uh, my background is I'm a math teacher, I've taught middle school math, high school math and beyond. So all the instruction is done by uh, me. And of course, being a math teacher, you know, I have a degree in mathematics and a master's degree and many years experience uh, teaching. So with Tabit class, you're going to get, you know, uh, one thing, you're going to know who the teacher is and their qualifications and their experience level. Uh, but two, you're going to get a really comprehensive uh, math program. I like to think that uh, Tablet class courses have some of the uh, most amount of video instructions um, and explanations to various problems. But what I want to do is um, actually leave a link in the description of this video to our uh, geometry course. If you want to check that out, there's some free previews. You can take a look at that. But um, again, a little bit about the, this particular video is to share um, with you um, a little bit about myself and uh, the focus of our geometry curriculum. So again, we focus on middle and high school mathematics. Really, our, our geometry course is uh, uh, designed to be a college prep course, meaning that it's going to be a great course for those that are going on to college. They're going to have to take the SAT and ACT and want to continue on with their math education. Now, you could find a more difficult course, geometry course, like let's say a geometry honors or advanced geometry where you're doing a lot of proof and whatnot. We do have geometric proof in our geometry courses as well, but not so much where, you know, not the average student, um, you know, couldn't, you know, would struggle with the entire course. So again, if you want to, you know, preview it, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video. You can, you know, read up on more of the details there. But let's take a look at this particular problem. I don't know if you're looking for a, uh, uh, homeschool geometry course or you're in the middle of one or maybe looking to evaluate maybe switching but this is a uh, very common basic kind of uh, problem that your homeschooler is definitely going to want to know at the uh, geometry high, the high school geometry level so what I have here are two parallel lines okay these lines are parallels just like railroad tracks are parallel to one another these are parallel lines and we can tell that by this line here we're calling line A and this line here we're calling line B. So this is the symbology we would say state that A is parallel to line B. Okay. Now these two little arrows on these lines also indicate that this line is parallel to this line. So if your homeschooler has taken geometry or in the middle of the geometry course, before going any further this might be a good little pop quiz for them to see if they can solve for this variable X here. Okay. But Let's go ahead and continue on. So if this is new to you, let's let's learn a little something here. Of course, this is all taught much more formally in my course, but when you have two parallel lines, if we just kind of observe, we have a line that kind of chops through these two parallel lines. This is called a transversal. But just uh, use your eyes here for a second, and I like you to kind of see, are there any angles that are equal to one another? Okay, what angles appear to be uh, like the same angle? All right, and now uh, the reason why I state this is that uh, angle relationships when you have two parallel lines and a line that chops through them, a transversal, is a very, very big topic in high school level geometry and, the, and this kind of stuff shows up all the time like on the SAT and ACT test. So something you're really, really uh, going to want your child to know or if you're the homeschooler yourself, you're going to have to know this stuff. Okay, so let's take a look at some angle relationships. So I have 50 degrees. This angle here you might see and it says well oh, that looks like this angle okay so let's just notice this angle appears to be about the same as that angle in fact they are exactly the same this angle here we don't even have names to it but just look at the measure of it how much it opens up it is actually the same measure as this angle here okay now let's take a look at this 50 here let's use the same color now if you look down here this angle is the same as the 50 
Okay, you can see that if they appear to be the same, that's because they actually are the same. Okay, and if we take a look at this green angle up here, this one up here, this actually is the same as this angle. So it's all kinds of equivalent angle relationships um, when we're dealing with uh, parallel lines and, and transversals. So I already said that this angle 50 is the same as this angle down here. So this angle down here is 50 degrees. So I know that this is 2x, this angle right there. Okay, that's 2x, and now this angle is 50. Now, of course, when we study this more formally, there's properties of parallel lines, etc. But I just want you to kind of eyeball this for a second. We're like, okay, I can understand that. That's, that's this is angle 2x, and this is angle 50. Now, let me ask you this. How many degrees do you think one entire line has. Hopefully you remember this, okay? If I have an entire line, how many ang uh, degrees is in that line? Let me just kind of draw it this way to help you out. Let's say I had a line, and then I had like this parallel line, or, or excuse me, this perpendicular line like this, okay? So this is, means that this right here would be what? 90 degrees, right? And then this over here would be another 90 degrees. So if you answered that the the entire angle measure of a straight line is 180 degrees, you would be correct, okay? So we're gonna use that idea right here. Okay, our little parallel lines kinda of got a little squished here, but that's okay, we'll move on. So we can see that 2x, this, this right here, this angle, plus this 50, this entire sum is gonna be 180 degrees. So we can write ourselves a nice little equation here. We can say, okay, 2x plus 50, is equal to 180 degrees. So at this point, if you're uh, still watching a video and you're like, okay, I understand that, go ahead and solve for x. So hopefully you can solve this basic equation. All right, I'll, I'll give you a moment to kind of give it a, a whirl because this is really basic algebra here. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and solve it. So what we're gonna do is gonna subtract 50 from both sides of the equation. And I'm going to get 2x is equal to 130. And then to solve for x, I need to divide both sides of the equation by 2. So 130 divided by 2, of course, is uh, 65 degrees. Let me just double check that. Yes, indeed, that is 65. So x would be equal to 65. So if you got that right, right from the get-go, that's outstanding, but this is a real basic type of level geometry uh, problem that you know uh, your homeschooler is going to want to um, you know master. But again, my philosophy when it comes to learning geometry um, is one: when you're at the high school level, you need to have a great algebra background. So if you struggled, if your if your child uh, struggled uh, in algebra, they're going to have a tougher time in geometry, okay? Because there is algebra involved in geometry, but they, they don't have to be, you know, if they, as long as they got through with algebra, you know, okay, then they'll be ready for geometry. But again, you know, algebra one is such a critical, um, you know, um, component before taking geometry. So make sure that's done. And by the way, too, let me just quickly uh, diverse here in terms of the track. Some people think that they have to take Algebra 1, uh, then move to Algebra 2, and then do Geometry. I don't, this is really um, not the common way of doing these courses. You really want to go Algebra 1, Geometry, and then Algebra 2, okay? Again, you're going to need to know Algebra 1 for Geometry, and then uh, when you have your geometry down, geometry, you know, you learn that, you'll actually need some of that in Algebra 2, at least some of the concepts. And at this level, generally speaking, most uh, students are going to be, let's say, juniors. At this point, this is where you're going to be taking the SAT, ACT, and you'll have your geometry and Algebra 1 behind you. If you're trying to take geometry in your junior year while you're you know, preparing for the SAT and ACT, you're going to be missing a lot of material that you're going to need uh, for those uh, entrance exams. Okay, so let's just go and wrap up this video. Again, I'm going to go ahead and leave um, the link uh, to my actual um, homeschool geometry course in the description of this video if you want to check that out. If you just want to just uh, learn more about me or watch more of my videos, I literally have hundreds of videos on my uh, YouTube channel. Hopefully, you'll consider subscribing. If you like this video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up and leave us some feedback. Um, 
If you're homeschooling with a different program, do you like it? Are you considering switching? Do you have any particular or specific uh, questions about Tabla Class Math? The best way um, to reach us is to go to our site um, and then use our contact form uh, there and uh, we'll get back to you. But with that being said, I definitely uh, appreciate your time and have a great day.